Okay, we're gonna talk about skin silk. Little Miss Thing here is relatively new. I got her $14 at Ulta. Okay, so keep in mind, I have more mature skin, normal dry combo. Mine is in F3. So I think as far as price point, it's pretty typical even of your drugstore foundations. Do I like this? Yes. However, if you are looking for a serum foundation, I would rather go with this. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. This has broad spectrum SPF 50. I wear it in Ivory 10. So this works better for me. This works, but you are making your concealer, your powders, pick up the slack and carry this girl because this is very light coverage. And without those other products, you see the redness. Like if you have a blemish, it will still be there unless you use concealer, powder. So this, I think for lighter days, like you want something on your face, you're not worried about coverage. If you have skin that doesn't need a ton of concealer, doesn't need a ton of powder, then definitely I think this would be beautiful. But as far as my skin, like I had to build this more than when I wear this. And I like this because of the sunscreen included. I think it more melts into the skin. Whereas, oops, sorry guys. I had to work hard to like blend this out. And like I said, you have to have your other products do the work. But definitely not a bad product. I just don't think it's for everyone. And at least for me, like I said, F3 is the shade I got it in. F4 was sold out in store. I don't know if that would work because this is like on the lighter side, but not tremendously, you know, so it's like, ooh, what's wrong with her? You know, being so pale, but it is on the lighter side. And F5 looked too dark, like shade wise. I think this is kind of, it, it's tricky. Like, I, I'm glad I didn't order it online, that I was in store to at least see what the shades look like. And I also think that this one, as far as, like, coverage, it's just not there. Whereas, like, this, I think it has more of a beautiful finish. And this one has a lot of good skincare benefits to it. And... I just like that I don't use so much of this, whereas like this, like I said, we were trying to build up, we were trying to see what we could do because when I first applied this part, which is kind of coming off here towards the end of the work day, but we're home now, but this was more red until I did like some powder, some concealer. So that was like all still visible, which you don't want to go through your day, like look at my red chin, you know? So that's my thoughts on this foundation. So guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and have a great rest of your day.